So okay, what I describe here, it's what we call interval or feeding the ball and the person who are here on the side of the table. Uh, and we will start giving the ball, replacing a machine. Mm -hmm. So that is very interesting first to learn to do that uh, for the coach, for the coaches, but also for the kids. Even when they are really beginners, uh, you can set table with one person who is learning and who will feed the ball and the other one who will try to play the ball back. When the box is over, then you can switch. So the kids are busy and usually they are focusing only on their movement, their technique. So for instance here, with a forehand, if you let the ball fall down here and you play the ball here, with the racket just finishing on the shoulder, then you will do the basic for the forehand counter head shot. Third shot. Okay? If you want to give with backspin, then here you will change, you will get the right leg in front and taking the ball here under. Okay, and it's exactly the same movement that the forearm push here. Okay, so for the coaches, how to learn, very important is that you will most of the time let the ball fall down. You have the back of the hand looking upwards, okay, and you will let drop the ball. Okay. You are here. And normally, if you want to do it good and let's say relax, you will use the biceps. Okay? So you are here. I come, I touch, I accelerate here. So I use this. I don't use my shoulder. I know. It will work at the beginning, but the quality won't be that good. Okay? So here. And then after it's a practice when you pick up three or four ball or five, four, five, and then you let drop the ball, and you will train to play the ball at different place. That depends uh, where you want to help your kids. With the forehand push to learn to play the rope on the backswing. Very important that you don't stand like that. You go down right like in front of you and you let the ball fall down lower than the net and the trick is to wave tack 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 so like this and I brush under okay the major mistake is often here where you don't let the ball fall down but you toss the ball it's bouncing you touch too high and then the trajectory of the ball is irrealistic. Okay, you cannot play on that ball. So it's very important to do it like forehand or backhand push. So level of the net. You will see also by just doing that, you will train kids or you, you will train your feelings giving them. And then you will learn not to push uh, or to do whatever, but to focus on what you are doing here. And then after, then it's a question. We can try to push short, to push long, to change, to push. You are working on your feeling here. 